So we're, this example, we're going to do a conditional probability. The reason we know this is a conditional probability is because we happen to notice that there's the word given that in the problem. Anytime you see the word given that, it is assumed to be a conditional probability. This original experiment is to pick a card from a deck, and the sample space for picking a card from a deck is a sample space of taking the two of spades through the ace of spades, two of clubs through the ace of clubs, two of diamonds through the ace of diamonds, and two of hearts through the ace of hearts. So if you weren't given any information, this would be your original sample space that you'd work with. But because we are given that the card is a jack, we can actually restrict this sample space down to that knowledge. We know the card is a jack, so we don't need these twos, the threes, the fours, all the way through to the aces, except for the jacks. So the restricted sample space would be the jack of spades, the jack of clubs, the jack of diamonds, and the jack of hearts. Now, out of this restricted sample space, we want to find the probability that the card is a spade. So, we're going to look for the probability of a spade, given that the card is a jack. So, in this restricted sample space, there is one spade in this restricted sample space, so the probability would be one, out of four outcomes in the restricted sample space. So your probability is one out of four.